Hey YouTube, Kenny Tony coming at you today. We got these Raptor 250s behind us. We're gonna be just getting this video quickly wrapped up. Give about five, 10 minutes of your time to let you know where we're at with these two machines. Well, the third machine and let you all know where everything is going and how we have these things looking. So as you can see right now, we have done some changes in the machines compared to last video. I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna quickly talk about that. And then I think this is gonna be like the second to last video before we get it all done i mean everything is basically buttoned up and kind of pointless at this point to just keep saying you know i've done one item here two items here but basically one of the things you see a lot different are the plastics so let's get this flipped over and talk about what we have going so here we go things are slightly organized a little bit different here so before we had the blue we had the gray and then we had the black but i did take this machine off to go ahead and do a little bit of work to it in my building but what we've gotten done in the last videos is we got the white plastics in from partzilla relatively cheap i want to say they're about 114 dollars i may be mistaken between the front and the rear but i am going to post that right up in here so we got the white plastics on we have the headlights on and installed they do work completely functional lights on let's get the switch and everything on completely wired in correctly as they should we did take these off of my son's raptor 250 over here because we're going to go with the light bar design on his everything else is here we have the silver rims on this machine is what it's supposed to be aluminum's in the back we did take the ones that were on there and kind of beat up and we powder coated those back to the silver look so it looks really good this is aluminum powder and this is actual aluminum so it's relatively close we did order new front tires for it so this machine is going to be getting wrapped up shortly i do have to put the chain guard on so we're going to get the well actual chain installed on the machine and we're going to put one of these case savers on this machine i'm thinking thinking we're going to put a case saver on this one and they are for gland innovations we do have the air box the new battery new battery lip cover rear bumper and we got the stays in the back for the plastics and these are the stays that i'm talking about to hold the plastics here these little parts here i did powder coat all of them black so there's new ones back here do have these supports on let me go ahead and grab the seat and get that on Seat is on, no rips, no tears, just dirty. So we're gonna get these plastic cleaned up really good. We still have the front stays to put in there. And then I think we're close to being done. We are going to put the light in there. Have a new light that's gonna be coming in. We also have new windows for here to clean these up. But overall, this one starts up with no problems. Here we go. And as I stated, we are just waiting on the front tires. Basically the biggest thing we have right here, all the foot pegs and the rear brakes assemblies for both machines. So once we get that done, we're gonna put the foot pegs on, we're gonna get the chain on, we're gonna put the rear brake calipers on, run the brake line up through the side, and then we should be getting close to getting done with this machine. Then we'll take it for a couple rides, little videos to show me get some footage of them getting it moving. But that's it with that one. Over to here, we did take the tires off and everything. Tires completely off. We powder coated, blasted and powder coated the wheels. So now they are powder coated black. Looking really good. Not painted, powder coated. Motor's cleaned up just the same as the same as the other one. We got the rear stays, we have the bumper, we have the exhaust, we have everything on there. It starts up fine. I think on this one, I'm just gonna put the factory chain guard cover. One of the two, it really doesn't matter if it's between one of these two because I needed to buy two covers and I also needed to buy, outside of those two covers, the little 
case saver the factory when it comes with it that's trash but this machine here is what's going to go to one of my friends and i'd rather give him the gland innovations case saver so we're going to put that one on there and put the factory on one of these and go with that route so i need i have three machines and i just need two of them so this one's going to have a case saver in between one of these two depends on which one i get with now this one here i also have a sprocket and the sprocket is from jt uh, I think it's JT Sprockets and we're going to replace that one because one of the teeth is broken on it and this one here either we're going to we're going to just powder coat it or just cover it with the case saver one of the two saying we got to put the foot pegs on here we got to put the brackets and those goodies to get it moving along well and getting this project going And onto the front of this one, we did get the headlight brackets in the mail. So we got those on stall, installed, which allowed us to use the two holes at the bottom to mount the oil cooler. And we have the oil cooler bracket here. I think up here we just got to plug in the, what is that one? This was going to be the light, the neutral indicator light. We already have the key and all those things key on let's go ahead and see if we can turn it over fires right up with no problem just like the other one and like I said these machines are going to have no major issues with them i am going to be taking the black plastics here off of my son's quad over there and they're going to go onto this quad here so this one's going to be black and silver and it's going to be looking good the plastics aren't mint but for its purpose it's going to be great and whoever doesn't like it they can always buy new plastics for around 250 bucks but overall you're still going to get a great deal with what i'm going to be giving you on this it's gonna have a new seat cover on it. I do have a new clutch lever perch coming. This one, it was cheaper for me to just buy a whole new setup from I think maybe Vito's than it was for me to get these two parts OEM and a new cable. So I bought a whole new setup that way. We do have to get the lights off of my daughter's quad because we're gonna do the same thing as the light bar. So the lights are gonna go here. But this is one of the things that I did see was that the prior owners cut the had like wiring off for some reason as you can see here's one of them cut right there yeah yellow black and green so we're going to get those reconnected strip some of that back get those reconnected so we can have the functional headlights but overall this is where we're at with these two machines and they look absolutely amazing this one's going to get some new front tires this one has the tires and everything done both of them are going to get new 18 millimeter windows into the master cylinders then i'm going to bleed the front brakes i'm going to put the rear brakes on the calipers and then we're going to put the lines the chains and all that stuff hopefully in the next few videos like i said not in the next few videos hopefully in the next video you get everything will be complete because we're going to keep this playlist as minimal as possible but finally since i'm here i do have the raptor 250 that's going to be going to my friend and we have the new battery sitting right there we're waiting on the cylinder uh let's see we have the air filter the air filter holder we're going to be taking that chain right there off and that chain is going to be going onto one of these quads i have the red chain from my son's build and we're going to put it on to this quad reason being is just because i'm not going to be needing a red chain when i have a yellow build is what we're going to be doing so i'm going to put that chain on there and just reuse to use some chains i have one that's already over here so hopefully we're going to be good on chains when we go through and that's going to be keeping us keeping us good we have a new air box as well he's got my son's old seat we got new grips everything's going through all bushings and everything have no play in them i mean overall this is solid solid machines every single one of them are going to be solid hopefully the next videos we'll be getting these things closed up and buttoned up so hopefully the next time i cut this camera on i at least have 
blue and black completely together these two twins together and we're still waiting to figure out what we're going to be doing with the cylinder thing i mean i know what i'm going to be doing with the cylinder i'm just waiting for the actual cylinder to be coming into the mail so we can get this done so once we get the cylinder and everything done this is going to be a matter of just getting this one back together making sure it's going to run right which we assume it's not going to have any issues i mean the bottom end is great cylinder is great we put new valves in the top new valve seals it's going to come with piston rings everything so we should be good on that end and case saver no case saver case saver or blah blah whichever or thank you for checking out this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe